Tom Cleverley, one of three talented and creative English players you've got in midfield with, with Fabian mm. boosted by what's happened with England and Ashley Westwood as well. Are you looking forward to seeing them develop sort of alongside each other in the next few months? They're all, they're all a good age, they really are and um, even Kieran Richardson as well been been in there as well so you've got a nucleus of English lads there so um, lads have got energy to, to play the game of football and Tom will, will certainly add to that and we we'll have to pick the right team that hopefully will blend and, and hopefully we'll go and try and get a win. Gabby Bond the Hall, he's very much a, a one club man, how pleased are you that he's Signed his new contract. No, but it's, it's great for him. It's great for the great for the club. I think that's it's, it's like any any player comes. I was going into the last year. It's it's difficult at, at times because of the last year. But delighted he's here because I think he's got so much to offer. And then I think his performances the start of the season this year have been excellent. I thought he was excellent against Hull. There's not too many players with that speed out there that you can go and go and get. And um, as I said before, if he's on his game, Gabby, he's at times he's really unplayable, and he's playing really well. And he's combining well with Andy Vyman, uh, mm. and with the prospects of Christian Benteke coming back further down the line. They they were quite a, a front three for you, weren't they? Certainly towards the end of your first season in charge. Yeah, very good. And Andy started the season really well as well. So and Christian's not not too far away from from training. So the two of them have been, as I said, Andy and Gabby are are big players and they've got his, got his goals to win his game so um, yeah I'm delighted with the, the way they're performing yeah, and going to Liverpool probably two of your best performances and they, over the last couple mm. of years have come at Anfield like with a draw last year and the, and the win the season before that yeah the, the first, I mean the 3-1 game was it was an excellent an excellent game for, for, uh, from us last year we, we threw away a two goal lead but I thought we were excellent again and the uh, it's never easy. Liverpool's a really tough, tough game to to go and play. As I said before, spent an awful lot of money in, for all the cup competitions in the Champions League. Nearly, nearly won the league last year, so we know how tough it's going to be. But as I said before, any given day you can you can win a game. Yeah, a, a lot of talk about Fabian and how well he's done. But uh, what did you make of your other players on international duty? Alan Hutton did well again, didn't he, for for Scotland? Yeah, excellent, and um, playing really well. And Scotland were really unlucky the, the, the second half, and um, it gives them that platform to have a little bit of belief that they can go and go and try and try and qualify. Ireland have had a great a great start, so um, no, I'm delighted we Carlos obviously played against Brazil again. So a lot of lads were away, but thankfully everybody seems seems not too bad. Yeah, just going back to this game. Yeah, they don't have storage, but they do have a certain. Balotelli mm. attracts a lot of interest wherever he goes, doesn't he? Quite a player. Yeah, but listen, I, I let Liverpool deal with that, that side of it. I've got to look constant on one team. We know what type of, type of game we're going to get up there, and um, they've, got another, they've got another 10, 15 great players there. So it doesn't matter who, they, who they've got, they've got good, good players.